Ovulation and the Menstrual Cycle The processes of ovulation and menstruation occur because of the interplay between the pituitary gland, the ovaries and the uterus. At the start of a typical 28-day menstrual cycle, the hypothalamus secretes gonadotropin-releasing hormone or GnRH into the network of blood vessels which surround the pituitary gland. This stimulates the cells of the pituitary gland to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone or FSH which travels through the bloodstream to reach the ovaries where it stimulates the development of ovary and follicles. Each of the developing follicles consists of an immature egg, a number of cells which secrete estrogen and fluid. Most of these developing follicles degenerate by day 7, leaving only a single dominant follicle to grow, nourishing the developing egg inside it. FSH helps the egg to mature in preparation for its release during ovulation while the estrogen secreted by the developing follicles helps in the regeneration of the endometrial lining of the uterus. Around day 12, it's a surge of estrogen into the bloodstream. which reach the hypothalamus resulting in the increased secretion of GnRH and stimulating the production of luteinizing hormone or LH by the pituitary gland. This flooding of LH into the bloodstream causes the follicle to bulge acting as a trigger for the rupture of the follicle and ovulation around the middle of the cycle. Immediately after its release the egg is pegged up by suction into the fimbriated opening of the outer end of the fallopian tube. From here, it takes about 5 to 6 days to travel through the fallopian tube where fertilization occurs before the fertilized egg gets lodged in the wall of the uterine cavity. If fertilization of the egg fails to occur within 12 to 24 hours, the egg begins to disintegrate and is eliminated along with the shedding of the endometrial lining. After the follicle ruptures, it is converted into a structure known as the corpus luteum, which secretes the hormone progesterone. Progesterone creates important changes in the endometrial lining of the uterus, making it suitable for it to receive the fertilized egg. The secretion of progesterone is maintained for several days. But if the fertilization does not occur in this period, the corpus luteum withers, resulting in a fall in the levels of progesterone and estrogen and a shredding of the uterine lining, starting the menstrual cycle all over again.